up, y'all? My name is Eric Jordan. I'm Anthony Sellers. And this is Browns, Browns in Our Blood. Blood. Oh, man, look at this delicious food. Y'all don't even so know. Amazing. Amazing. Thoughts on the Jets game? Right, yeah. Thoughts on the Jets game. Thoughts on the Jets game. We killed ourselves, I think, personally. No. Like, our, uh, our whole first staff, we dominated. It, that's the only way to, I, at least in my mind. Like, the offense was moving up the field. The defense was stopping them. Missed opportunities. Yeah. But 20, 20 points worth of missed opportunities. Can't recover from that. So much like just the aggravation. You're there and there's just bam. That was a heartbreak. It was. It, it was really a heartbreak was. Cause it was so pumped up like, oh, here we go. This yeah. is what it looks like. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's what I was like, yeah, this is the way it's supposed to be. That's. I think that's losing teams. You have to deal with that. The turnovers, like when you get zero four, every turnover is like yeah. a stomach drop. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Like it's just so excruciating. Yeah, because like it's such a momentum killer. I'll tell you what I liked about the, uh, the game, though. What I did see, the rookies look good to me. Not all. Yes. Look, Deshaun didn't. You know, Deshaun's gonna have his growing pain. We just gotta get used to that, man. But the other rookies, Miles, Joku, made yeah. some big plays. Those are big plays, man. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And uh, Miles, uh, um, his sack, the first one, Peppers was in there rushing too. They're starting to bring him up in the box now. Mm. I've noticed, like, there there weren't as many plays that weren't both safeties way deep, which right. is something I like, you know. Right. So Peppers needs to be around the ball. I wonder, do you ever think about maybe they need to put him on offense a little bit, see what he do? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. You saw what the defense could be. Oh yeah, with Garrett, with Courtney getting, Courtney getting that interception. That was the other thing. The quarterbacks came to play. Yeah, like they were, they were aggressive. We make plays, man. Yeah. We, we make plays. Now, yeah, we turn it over too. We definitely turn it over, but we make plays. There's some teams out there that suck that don't make plays. Yeah, you really. Know what I'm saying. So it's like the fact that we do make some plays. You can't take that for granted. Yeah, it's future's bright. Yeah. So. That pass by that catch by Njoku was big time. Oh yeah, it was. And, and the way it. Garrett swam, did you see? Because he when he that first sack he got, he swam through this way and then he swam through yeah. that way. And got just through. bam, bam, Ooh. yeah. That boy's gonna quick, be fun to watch. That guard had no clue. He, that, that step, that was hilarious. It was he so was like, quick. It, it was, was so quick. Cause you know, just think about it. Garrett and Trubisky, number one and number two. Yeah. Both debuted at this debuted this week. Right. Collins has cleared the practice. So, yeah, we get him back next week. That's what I want to see. Yeah, the whole defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a little shine of it this week. That's what I want to see. I know I said this before and you looked at me like I was crazy, but I think more screens. I think more screens simplify the playbook. Simplify the playbook. Now, uh, yeah, we were talking, I can see that. I agree with the simplify the playbook. Yeah, before we started um, filming, you told me that the um, fumble where Deshaun pitched out to Isaiah, he audible eyes out that. I didn't yeah, know that. He, sa he said that in the postgame presser that he, aud he audibled out of it. They're into the read option. Yeah, because at first I was like, that's, you know, make it that's more simple for him. But if he did that to himself, I ain't mad at it. He's trying to he's trying to learn how to read. He can't get past that process. And it was, the lane was there. That's the one thing. The lane really was there. It was just bad pitch. Should, Crowell probably still should have caught it, but it was about that. It was just everything about it looked just looked off and awkward after the play was ran yeah. when it started the run. It just looked off. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He he just, he gonna get it. I, I really do believe he's gonna get it, and I ain't got no problem with him getting benched for this game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah. This game, I ain't got no problem with that. Because it teaches like if you're gonna play, you gotta perform. You gotta perform. Yeah. I love I love competition. I do too. Yeah. I don't know, because see, like, they really moved the ball the first, like, against this thing. Granted, it's against the Jets. What does Hugh got to do to, like, get them prepared is what it seems like. Because, like, it seems like it could somehow come with him. Does he, how does he get a little bit of extra edge to motivate them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Does it bring a little bit of extra fire somehow throughout the practice? That's why I think, kind of what I think it's starting to be now, huh. to get them to respond somehow. But so you think it's something needs to happen before the game? Maybe a little bit, just, you know, because it's, I mean, they were moving up and down the field. Like, the lack of that, the turnovers killed them the right. first half. Yeah. Turnovers have been killing us, period. Yeah. Period. But, I mean, that's how you learn, though. That's how you learn. Take some shots, man. Got to take some shots, bro. 
It's the only <laughs> way, man. You ain't gonna learn yeah, by, by playing it safe. Now tell me what Terry Bradshaw, because I couldn't find it. I looked for it online. I looked for I couldn't find it too. I just saw someone comment on one of the Browns forums, uh -huh. the Facebook pages that uh -huh. got him in, uh -huh. saying that like he bashed us, saying we should have taken Wentz and or Watson. Mm. Basically, I don't know. My thought is, you know, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Terry. Just go on with it. You know, the decisions were made. We done. We everything's happened. We did what we did. Yes, Watson's panning out in Houston for him. Wentz is doing good, but they had to bring help to Wentz in Philadelphia. So I don't know. Just let it go. Let it go. We got our. We got our guy. I think Kaiser's going to be the answer. Just give it a few. Give it. Give it. A, give it another year. <laughs> I mean, um, Terry's right. <laughs> <laughs> but look, Deshaun's our boy, right? Deshaun's our boy. Here's the thing: we nobody has our crystal. Like you don't have a crystal ball. Right. Nobody has a crystal ball. You right. can't predict that this going to happen. You know, for 100% certainty, you cannot say that they're going to be great, especially right off the bat like that. Right. But that, was that even the issue, though? Because yeah, we I don't weren't know. even talking about that. I think we were talking about is it, is it about Garrett? Right. Our whole thing was about Garrett, and then last year with Wentz, who was who was our number one last year? Uh, last our year. number one was Coleman. Garrett Col Coleman. Yeah, because we traded. Yeah, Coleman. Okay. Yeah. Now that I'm a little pissed about. I was pissed about <laughs> that last year because so we could have took Wentz, right? Yeah, we had we could have taken Wentz, but we traded down before the draft started. Basically. Yeah, we didn't we didn't have our show then, and, but it, on the message boards, I was publicly um, pissed off. I wanted yes. Wentz. I yeah. wanted Wentz. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did too. Honestly, I thought he'd be a good answer, but I think guys yeah. are still gonna be an answer. Yeah. Right. Really but this year. I, I don't, especially what I saw last night. I don't. I don't think I still take. Ooh, Deshaun Watson does look. Oh, okay. thanks, man. Thank you, bro. Deshaun Watson does look real, man. He and, does. And he does. And even, even you know, shoot. All right, just so we go back. I was with getting Deshaun Watson. He was. At the last minute, though, I did switch it up to Jamal Adams. <laughs> that was like my last two weeks. I was like, all right. All right. I, I, I was feeling really strong about Jamal Adams, and Jamal Adams is balling. But you told you, were you saying take Adams over Garrett too? Though? Yes, I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. that yeah. was no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that yeah. no, but over well, Watson, it, it, I it was. Seen. It wasn't about ability; it was about his leadership, right? And his and demeanor. Thought, yeah, yeah. His, his leadership to me, I really like that. I, I value that strong. But no, I think I think our I think our um, I think Sasha and them did really good to pick Miles. I think Miles was the correct pick. Yes. You know, over Watson, over Trubisky, because I still think Trubisky's going to probably be the best out of this class when it's all said and done. I forgot what Kendall Wright gave me last night in fantasy, but I stuck with Kendall Wright, got him, Tariq Cohen, he's going to pay off eventually because I'm telling you, Mitch going to start pumping them things out. It's going to be nice to see you. Oh, damn <laughs> right. Damn right. You know, overall, Terry Bradshaw, right? they, they were better picks. I don't think it was a wrong pick to take Kaiser when we took him either. I don't think it was a wrong pick. I uh, well, I, will stand, I will stand by that 100%. Kaiser was not a wrong pick, especially where we got him. This is how you look at it. The strategy of taking Garrett, definitely on board with that. Given the way the roster was at the yeah. time, I agree. Got to take Garrett. Yeah. Got to take gotta Garrett. Got to take Garrett. And yeah. But what yeah, our but, team needs, we need to care. Yeah. And with what Kaiser is going, like, can be, right. potential and stuff he's shown, I don't think it was a bad pick. Right. No, I think people are riding him way too hard because they're, at least fan wise, we're riding him too hard most of because they just want to see some wins. Right. I know we've, I said it this morning, I, I went on a little rant in our little message message group that we have saying it, but it, yeah, of course everybody wants to win, but I mean, he's still the right thing. He's, he's shown promise. Yeah. I think like we said, that makes it hurt a little bit more than just straight out losing like it has been. <laughs> You yeah. just straight out lose and you suck. And it's like, it's uh, well, whatever. It is what it is. But when you show promise, when you make some plays, and you down there on the three yard line, you yeah. fumble the damn ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're going to be straight. We're going to be straight. Yep. Which QB should start at Houston since guys got pulled to start the second half of the last game? Look, like I said, I agree with benching Deshaun. He needs that. But I am fully committed to to him as our QB starting quarterback for the for the for the year. Now I agree with that. I mean, I was kind of yeah. torn at the game. I was a proponent of him, of waiting, anyways, yeah. keeping him benched. But now that we're in it, 
think you gotta ride this ship, man. Yeah, I 100 percent agree. Now I don't mind pulling them again, pulling them again, because I, yeah. I love the competition. I think Hogan push, Hogan is pushing them, and that's what that's we need. That's yeah. a good thing. And uh, yeah, let them, let them both get their play. You know, let let the play predict. But when that starts, when it starts out in the game, it needs to be Kyrie start. Yeah, I agree with that. Like you said, you said he was a starter and that he earned it. He got pulled for a poor performance. Yeah, let it be that. Keep him starting this week. Yeah. Keep start for the rest of the year. Yeah. Just let them have them reps. Let them get the reps. Let them get the reps. Stop. The only one way to learn. Yep. Keys to beating Houston, Texas. And we're playing at Houston, right? Yeah, we're playing at Houston. Um, uh, minus Merciless and JJ. Yes. And they actually have Brian Cushing still suspended. Oh. So, no turnovers. <laughs> right. Turnovers to score. This one's an offensive effort for me. I think the defense is going to show up. I think they're going to get pressure. Mm. And I think it's going to, like, that's going to be a nice little chess match to watch. Deshaun versus our defense. Mm. I'm really, like, I'm kind of I'm kind of intrigued by that matchup myself. I'm going to try. I'm intrigued to see how Kaiser bounces, bounces back. Yes. This will be a big. I think, I think this is a good offensive, like, a good thing to really test our offense. Because if it gets into a shootout type, yeah. let's see what we got. And you know he's going to want to do it because he's playing against another rookie. Yeah. And they're already talking about it. If the wrong did Sean get picked, they're already talking about it. So yeah, you know so you won. know he's got a little bit of fuel. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh my keys, we gotta score a lot of bad points. I think our defense can hold that because I think that offense is clipping. I think the Texas they, offense is clipping. They are, they are. I mean all the way down to Deontay Foreman, Lamar Mill, I mean they are balling. Will F Will Fuller, DeAndre Hopkins, they are balling. Deshaun yes. is mobile. I think we can hold them 28 points. I think we can hold them less. No, they gonna I think, score. I think, I think, I think we can. And yeah. also, if I think if we hold them, like I think if it's 28 points, I think we lose the game. Don't want to say that, but I think that. Yeah. Well, I, I think, think if it's 20, if it's below that though, like 24, or 21 points, we have a real shot of winning the game just because of the way the offense has been well, moving. You know what you did? Just say Collins is back this week. Man. Yeah. Huh. Collins, Collins has cleared the practice. We're getting our full starting unit defensively on the field this week it looks like so huh. no how many points what do you think they can hold them to I, I would like to see it I'm like i think they can hold them to 21 personally 21 yeah okay that's what i, I was gonna put down 21 and i was like no this boy been balling sean watching the ball he I has been up. but that's i, I don't know to the point i don't want to pick them up on two fans i can't believe he was still on there in waivers <laughs> i'm like oh give him to me like Ed Dixon yeah. was there, still out there in waves. But that uh, was a that was a fluke game. No, that boy is catching a, that ball. Yo. Ed Dixon's game was a fluke game. We'll see. Luke. We'll see. Who do you think is going to be the X factor? This is my sleeper. <laughs> I feel like I need to go pick him back up too because we saw a little, <laughs> we saw some glimpses of Casey Williams this week. This yes, weekend. we did actually. I saw surprised. some nice glimpses, and that's what I was we talking did. about. That's what I was talking about. He was going to do, and. Uh, this might be the week. I think that the chemistry is starting to slowly Slow. build, slowly build. They see he'll they see he'll go up there and get that ball. So I think Hogan and both guys are gonna start throwing that jump ball. Yeah. You know, Joker Joker will go up there and get it too and Duke's balling, yeah. Duke Duke been balling. But I'm, you, know, you know Duke's gonna get his. I think Njoku's the X factor for me. He's he's turning into a red zone threat and definitely. he's that like when you're in the middle of the field, he's definitely that good state second layer. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. This, that's what I've noticed in these past couple games with him. He's catching it in that second layer a lot, a lot, and I like to see it personally. Yeah. And well, I want to see Peppers get an interception or a sack or return for a touchdown, something, something to give me reason to wear that jersey. I'm here <laughs> this week, next week. I'm not, I'm not wearing the jersey until they win a game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vandal. Browns in our blood, daily fantasy stuff. Please, can I get the standings, please? Can I get can I get some fan duel standings, please? Standings is for the season. This dude right here is still ahead by 31 <laughs> points over Kellen. Then I'm in third. I don't know anything after that. I don't remember it. Right, right, right. Uh, as for the week. Kellen's catching you because he beat you this week. He took a, he took down the week. You should have by like 15, 20 points, somewhere like that. Like it was it was a pretty big margin. 
I know he was going to slip back on after that butt we gave him a week before, though. <laughs> I know all your players went out. All your, yeah. Lost all your players in, in injury. Hey, some of you guys in our leagues, we don't know you. Let us uh, know you better. Go on, you got a message board or something? A chat room? Yeah, we got in? a chat room. Tell us where y'all from, what y'all names is, we so, we can, so we can shout you out on the on the show. Yeah, one of the, one of the guys goes on Twitter as uh, Jordan5L, I think. That's how that's how he joined. He saw us on Twitter and stuff, and uh, we had a little bit of dialogue with him. That's probably one of my family members, Jordan Five O. Might be somebody from my family. It's up in New York. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little Twitter, Tuzzy Geographics. Right, right, right. <laughs> Join. Yeah. Win money and a belt. Win money and a belt. And season, a belt. Season belt. You know, we talk about the belt. Also, make awesome. sure you check out Fantasy Football Bosses, that that pack podcast. It drops what, what, what day? Every drop? Thursday. Every Thursday. We record it on Thursday. I pretty much just edited it and put it out that night. It's usually like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, let me, let me give a little so, shout out to Gary. <laughs> Listen here, sucker. I'm ready for you. I think our game is coming up soon. Ooh. Bring it, Gary. If you guys like watching us, you can find us on YouTube. Most of them sound like on YouTube. Find us on iTunes in a podcast format, as well as uh, Stitcher. Mixcloud. Mixcloud, and then Google Drive. All right, y'all. My name is Eric Jordan. And I'm Anthony Sellers. And this is Browns, Browns in, in Our Blood. Blood. Here we go, Brownies. Beating Texas this week at their spot. 11-5 starts this week. <laughs> Here we go.